is happening, everybody? Thank you for coming by another one of my BGA DFS Top 5 videos. I'm back with the sleepers. This week has already been a little crazy. Number one player in the world and certainly the highest priced golfer in this field this week with Drew. Shaking up the ownership, but if you want to get a sneak peek at what those ownership levels might come out at this week, actually, if you're watching this on Tuesday, ownership projections for the golf week are free. So go on and check them out. And of course, Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're going to get notified of all of these type of things that come up, especially the free content that we have daily. And ownership projections really going to matter this week, especially with Dustin Johnson, who is probably going to command 35 or 40%, not going to be there. So that's got to go somewhere. But I'll tell you a couple of places it's not going to be, as this is, again, the top five sleepers for the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Quickly, we'll go over last week. We were three for five. The three that we got right all finished inside the top 20 in terms of DFS scoring, so that's pretty good. Scotty Scheffler, Will Zalatoris, and Russell Henley, but sadly, Sebastian Munoz wasn't even close, and Dylan Fratelli missed the cut on the number. So three for five, not bad in terms of the guys that did make it. Obviously, a couple golfers missed the cut, not what we're looking for. We'll try and get five of five this week, and I have five sleepers, all priced over $7,400, all expected under 5% owned. So let's dig right in. And Okay, first off, I've been kind of the proponent of maybe not playing Ricky Fowler all that much, but listen, he's 9,200 in this field. It's not that crazy to think about. Maybe he's not playing as good as he should be. Don't get me wrong. But 5% owned, all you got to do is go 10 to 15% to get 2x, 3x leverage on the field. That seems pretty easy. He has not played here in the last two years. Obviously, the recent form, 80th and 53rd, not what we want to see. I'm going to call him my fifth best sleeper because he's kind of like, he's pretty much at, you know, people know about him. So I'm going to call him my fifth best sleeper. going to break it up just a little bit. My second best sleeper, people probably know a bit about, it's Jim Furyk. $7,400. We just saw Steve Stricker, a guy that's plus 50 years old as well, compete on the PGA Tour. And if there's ever a track and venue that these old guys could, I think, compete at, it would be this one. And two years ago, Furyk did come in 14th here in this tournament. Missed the cut last year. Again, hasn't played in a couple of weeks, obviously, focusing on the Champions Tour. But when he does play here, 116th off the tee, 53rd on the approach. Around the green, that's 101 and putting is 160th, so he does have enough rounds at least to get some measured stats. Nothing to ride home about. So he's going to be my fourth best sleeper. Again, to my third best sleeper of the week, it's going to be Andrew Putnam. Here's a guy coming off of a top 10, his first top 10 in quite some time. He's got decent course history. Came in, at least made the cut a couple of years ago. Not Maybe not that good. But at 7,400, at 4% owned, we know that his focus is on his short game. Ranked 43rd and 47th around the green and putting this year for a strokes gain ranks 92 in the approaches that's what i like to see those are improving we know off the tee is not that big of a factor here this week so if people don't want to go back to him and they'd rather go to other golfers in that area i'm fine with it four percent owned for andrew putnam fine by me like i said he will be my third best sleeper this week okay now for my top two sleepers this week one golfer it's because of his form. It just has not been good lately. So we're going to start with him as my number two best sleeper on the slate, and that's Chez Reavy. Remember, it wasn't too long ago that he completed a top five at the U.S. Open held right here at Pebble Beach. Also, last two years, a top 25 last year, 38th the year before that. So it just seems like it fits his style of game. Now, granted, it's not very good. He missed the cut last week. Hasn't been playing good lately. He's a form golfer, but maybe coming to Pebble, where he had one of his best career finishes at that U.S. Open, like I said, will bring back the feels where he'll be able to use his strengths, which are really on the approach game and around the green. 26th ranked on the approaches this year. That's pretty good. 100th around the green. Obviously, his putter's been ice cold, ranked 224th this year. Going to look for that to improve on greens that we know he's putted on well before. So, Chez Revi, my second best sleeper here this week. And my number one sleeper, he had a good week last week. In fact, was the first round leader. Ended up coming in e uh, seventh place. Excuse me. And it's Matthew Neesmith. This guy is so good with his irons right now. He's gained strokes in 16 of his last 18 appearances, including last week where he had another fantastic week. So at eight thousand dollars, maybe people don't want to, you know, pay that much for him. But 11th place finish here last year, which was certainly a stronger field than we have this year. 
Certainly like that price. I like the 5% uh, projected ownership as well. When we look at his strokes gain numbers, again, it's a ball striking guy, no doubt about it, or he is, I should say. 56th off the tee and 12th on the approach, 196 around the green and 145 putting. So from 5 to 1, Ricky Fowler, obviously everybody knows him, so he'll be my number 5. Number 4 goes Jim Furyk. Number 3, Andrew Putnam. Number 2, Ches Reavy. And my number one sleeper of the week for the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro is Matthew Neesmith. So thank you all for joining another one of my top five PGA DFS videos. Hopefully they help you out in making your lineups each and every week. And of course, making them profitable. We don't just want to help you fill out lineups. We want to make them profitable as well. So until next time, everybody, good luck this week. And we will see you on the other side. Cheers.